Ladies and gentlemen, after six years of hiatus in Jammu and Kashmir Assembly, chaotic scenes were witnessed on the first day of the newly elected Jammu and Kashmir Assembly session over an impromptu resolution introduced by PDP MLA Vahid Rahman Para. He submitted a resolution seeking restoration of Article 370 to Jammu and Kashmir, which means the special status to be restored. His move quickly triggered a massive ruckus in the House with BJP MLAs urging the Speaker to expunge the resolution forthwith. 28 BJP legislators, however, refused to sit while opposing the PDP MLAs move huge ruckus sloganeering inside the house in fact even at the well but first let's listen in to what the resolution was the reorganization act and calls for complete descending whether the house resolves to sit for the restoration of the Kashmir special status and guarantees granted to the people of Jammu and Kashmir in its original and pristine form we request the special status of Jammu and Kashmir should be restored in its original form the elections His move quickly triggered a massive ruckus in the House with BJP MLAs urging the Speaker to expunge the resolution forthwith. 28 BJP legislators, however, refused to sit while opposing the PDP MLAs move. Meanwhile, addressing the assembly, Jammu and Kashmir Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha hailed the central government. He highlighted that higher voter turnout was reflected in the Jammu and Kashmir assembly election and it reflected the trust of the voters in democratic process. However, Sinha's comments were in a stark contrast to what Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Omar Abdullah had said. Omar Abdullah said that Article 370 had no importance and if they had approved it, then the election results today would have been very different. This assembly is Jammu Kashmir ke logo ke jazbat ko reflect karti hai. Hakikat ye hai ke Jammu Kashmir ke logo ne 5 August 2019 ke fasle pe apna mohar nahi lagaya hai. Agar lagaya hota to natije alag hote hai. Jo resolution aaj laya gaya hai uski, uski koi matlab अहमियत नहीं है वो मां सिवाय बदकिस्मती से कैमरास को दिखाने के अलावा उसका और कोई मकसद नहीं है अगर मकसद होता तो शायद ये लोग हमारे से मशवरा करके तय करते कि हाउस के तरफ से क्या बात आनी चाहिए अब छोड़िए Meanwhile, PDP Chief Mehbooba Mufti congratulated Vahid Para for bringing forth the resolution. Let me just open this up to our panelists at this point. What does it mean for the ordinary people living in Jammu and Kashmir at a time when there seems to be only heightened instances of terror attacks as well? Dr. Abhijit Jasrotia, spokesperson for BJP in Jammu and Kashmir, joins us. Tosif Shah, who's a senior leader with PDP, as well as advocate Ahmad Ayaz, who's a political analyst. Thank you very much, all of you, for joining us. Dr. Abhijit Jasrotia, my first question to you. What happened? Uh, what, why so much of anger inside the assembly? Why not just allow the speaker to do the job? Speaker kept telling you, I've not even got the resolution. I will decide what needs to be done. Why so much of anger? Uh, uh, let me tell you, let me put it this way, that uh, what was Honorable LG Saab doing today? He was basically telling us about the achievement of past five, six years, how Jammu and Kashmir have really reformed and transformed. 
how it was a gdp in uh, two, uh, 2017 or 1.17 lakh crore now it is double gdp here how that uh, jnk bank which was at a deficit of 1139 cr is now at a profit of 9191 cr how everything has improved how that uh, fear of gun and how that uh, patthar yug that stone age has gone now we was basically we were talking on those lines suddenly uh, this pdp mla came out with, uh, with something new in uh, in the uh, came out with this uh, Uh, article 370 and they started writing the same raga which they are renting over there and they also know very well that it's not going to come back you know first of all we should know that on one side you say that supreme court has given a good verdict that by saying that we should go for uh, elections on the other side you are not ready to accept the same verdict given by uh, supreme court that article 370 no more exists but why they are doing all things things the, the simple reason is there that from past 50 60 years you have done so nothing over so there so why so much of anger dr abhijit jasrodia get up oppose let your objection be heard and then carry on with business why stall the proceeding speaker kept telling all of you again and again sit down sit down let me decide i've not even got the resolution the first and foremost of all we are not going to listen anything on article 370 because we know that honorable supreme court has given this thing to us and we were fed up of this article 370 what we have got from article 370 Graves over here more than one point five. That's not the point. The here. point is, did you hijack the proceedings of the assembly? But I will come back it to was, you in a bit. Let me just go to uh, your hijacking. PDP counterpart, Tosif Shah. If I can come to you, Tosif Shah, you've been accused of showmanship. Yeah, hi, Neha. Very good evening to all the panelists. I'd like to uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate that this was the first day of the first assembly of the first session mm -hmm. of the new UT. which has been uh, and carried out of uh, so uh, it, it's a congratulatory note to all the members of the assembly but let me tell you that we are very happy that uh, the thing that we expected our chief minister to do because this is the same channel where you asked lots of questions to to the national conference spokespersons that would why are they fighting on the name of 370 and now you can see that they don't even they don't ever have the courtesy to Uh, regard the votes the the respect the people the respect the mandate of the people they have been given they have been chosen as a single largest party they have been given the mandate over every single party which exists in jammu and kashmir and they couldn't even bring a resolution we know we are the weakest assembly right now we used to be the very strongest assembly now we are the weakest assembly but we still know that our resolution is not going to do Tasi anything Shah. but if Tosif Shah, first day of the assembly, today, coming just days today. after terror attacks and multiple counter terror operations, and this was the pressing notion that you had to press into the assembly on Look, day one. Uh, uh, let me tell you, Neha, this was your priority we, we, when there is actually an you, Neha, unprecedented me, increase in terror attacks let me, let me, in Jammu and Kashmir. You, this we, is what we, you we thought was the most important. We we are we we have been living in the Jammu and Kashmir since last decades. Okay, so we have seen that prior to the militancy started in the year of 1990, the Article 370 was still there and was a very powerful story. There was no terrorist attack before 1990, so we cannot blame Article 370 like BJP is blaming. Yes, this is the point of. Sir, this is not look, about. Is my question is not that. My question is: Look Kashmir. at what happened in day one of the assembly in Jammu and Kashmir. Day one of an assembly that was not constituted, and look, day we, one we, after an election was won. We have to understand. It has been washed out. It has been paralyzed at a time when Jammu and Kashmir is seeing peak in terrorist activity and counter-terrorist operations. Look, we, is this we, why we have, you all have been elected? No, inside no, we the assembly we have been elected we have been elected we have been sent to the assembly the national conference has been sent to the assembly we have been sent to the assembly on the name of article 370 had we not been sent on the name of article 370 then bjp would have got the absolute two third majority over there like if people of jammu and kashmir okay i'll been. go to bjp Ahmed. to respond to that advocate ahmed yeah. ayaz advocate ahmed ayaz the nc yes. has blamed the pdp and accused the pdp of saying that listen this is they are doing just showmanship they are doing it for the cameras but what 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 is the poa for the nc umar abdullah clearly stated statehood is a big deal uh, but why not just come clean on this 
see fact of the matter is that this has been a primary issue with all these political parties during their campaign in elections in the recently assembly elections it's not uh, one particular party alone this was with all uh, these uh, political parties and uh, even the national conference also uh, was of the opinion they will be passing uh, a resolution uh, in the first assembly session as uh, they said about it and uh, well uh, it can be called it true uh, that it has an importance with the political parties so far as their vote uh, bank is concerned that also is true and then uh, uh, these people possibly pdp must have tried to catch the camera as uh, rightly pointed out by someone uh, to see that they 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 take a lead in uh, you know uh, putting a proposal putting a re resolution uh, because the national conference has already said that we will be passing a resolution now that considering that that uh, they will be doing it uh, possibly the pdp has taken try to take a lead and uh, take credit of it this is uh, what uh, possibly uh, is happening toshif shah so please respond toshif shah again the question is on you because pdp has brought in this resolution at a time which comes just days after terror attacks and counter terror operations and a spate of increases so you brought in this resolution on day 1 at a time when it was already given in the assembly omar abdullah had said it that the first session will see a resolution on this so it was basically hijacking the cameras is that what it was and instead the yeah. first day is just washed out they had regarding uh, regarding the terror attacks we have been already condemning it since last many days but now let me uh, reply back to uh, mr advocate but you did not think I, it was I, necessary I, to be brought in on the first day to be discussed yeah that was that was condoled that was condoled by mr wahid para if you can uh, listen to his speech the first word he started he uttered that we condole the demise of uh, the army jawans the people who who were martyred in these Uh, attacks now coming back to article 370 this is you you have to you have to you have to understand this that uh, this is not something we have to be on the camera we are already on the cameras we have already we have seen that whatever our, our party president mahbub mufti says becomes the 9 pm debate so we don't need cameras we don't need the flashlights but this was this was something that we 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 require to create the history we had given we had openly requested national conference to pass the resolution of, uh, in the first day the first session of first new assembly of jammu kashmir union territory we had requested umar abdullah to do it uh, by uh, through your channels through media through newspapers but they are putting a blind eye to it they are they are speaking about the statehood now let me clearly tell you that if we get 370 back statehood would okay statehood would uh, Uh, automatically come Dr. back Abhijit, along to it. Dr. Now, Abhijit Jasrotia, my last question to you, Dr. Abhijit Jasrotia. NC has opposed what PDP has said, saying it is just showmanship. But both have said one thing, and that is abrogation of Article 370, return of statehood, is critical in every sense. These two issues are extremely critical. So, Dr. Abhijit Jasrotia, this assembly sessions are largely going to be full of this, and not just the assembly sessions. The functioning of the government is largely going to be around this. if this is your going to be your response in the assembly if this is the kind of ruckus that the assembly is going to be seeing how is the assembly going to function any time hey, let me tell you first of all we are there in case if something positive is there you are going to talk about uh, uh, something constructive in, in jammu and kashmir we are with you but let me clear say one thing to you though the, both the panelists were saying that people of the kashmir rather have voted against article 370 let me tell you one thing that the single largest party which has uh, after the, this uh, Uh, voter turnout it was bharti janata party we have scored more than 1.5 lakh votes more than national conference so that means the maximum people were against uh, this article 370 now talking about pdp you can very well understand how come uh, it was a vote for them they have squeezed out even they have achieved the 10% of what uh, votes what they have uh, achieved last time and talking about national conference you can very well understand they also know very well that it's never going to come back so for photo op may it be nc may it be pdp all, right. all are okay. heading towards the same okay i'm totally out of time but dr abhijit jasrotia as well as tawseef shah and advocate ahmed ayas thank you for joining us the truth remains we leave you with these visuals of what happened in the assembly this is what happened on day 1 as a, a very important session was set to begin amid unprecedented hike increase in terror and counter terror operations after a gap of a long period in jammu and kashmir 
But the assembly first day was a complete washout as the political opponents within the assembly refused to see eye to eye and bring the people's issue to the core of it or even discuss what matters to the people the most.